Well, come down to Port Samari. With me is John Kegan, who runs Island Escapes. And we're, we're just um, literally still processing information by the minute on what's going on now. And obviously, the borders, are, in that sense, are almost closed. They, they, you know, midnight last night, uh, before now having to go into exile for, for 14 days. But, I mean, you deal with a lot of properties here. You've got, I think, 40 different properties that would normally be on the market having people coming over. I presume that's been wiped out, has it? Yeah, so our business is, is just tourism. 95% of our customers come from off the island, and this has had a devastating effect on our business and on the tourism industry as a whole. We had around 1,000 guests that were due to arrive with us um, during April and May and up to TT alone. So that's before we even get to the peak uh, summer. I was going to say, a lot of people think TT is going to be damaged, yeah. but all those other businesses are in obviously in the same situation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in, in recent times, um, tourism on the island has seen a kind of a real renaissance. We've been, it was only a month ago, we were at the Tourism Industry Day and they revealed the strategy for the next few years and it was a real sense of enthusiasm. Yeah, to put the numbers up, wasn't it? Yeah, the, exactly. The and we've we've got some fantastic places around the island um, to come and stay and some great tourism businesses, the hospitality businesses, the activity providers. So many people are being affected by this. Yeah. Well, has the government so far given you the information you need and also the support you're going to need? Yes, yeah, so I've been in contact with the government straight away and at the moment we're in dialogue with them really. They're, it's very early days in, in trying to say what support um, they're able to provide. They've been quite open um, and this morning we met um, with a number of ministers at a Chamber of Commerce led meeting and it was quite, quite a positive engaging meeting. They went away with a load of actions so we'll see what comes of it. Now, people can make the difference. People can't come over, but staycations, I think, is what the terminology is being used here. I mean, I know some of them should be in India, and they've gone to a place in Andres, for instance. Is that what the Isle of Man population can now do, sort of help each other out? I think that would help um, tourism immensely in the sense that we might all just try and get through this year yeah. um, by people trying to holiday at home by looking at sort of ways in which we can sort of just try and support each other through yeah. this difficult time. Um, it, the island is still somewhere that people might want to come and have a quiet few days um, in a different part of the island perhaps you know we're down here in Port St Mary um, someone from another part of the island might want to come down here and have a few days away from everything even if they want a social distance they can I can book a cottage they can just enjoy the fresh air enjoy being out with the family sure. um, I mean, this has all got to do with cash flow right I mean then yeah. you you've had people cancel you on you yeah that's gone yeah you need some other source of income yeah to try and survive through we, this has come right at the end of the wind and the so our business works on a very seasonal basis we're very busy from April through till October and then that sees us through until the following um, April really and then it all starts again it's only just starting again and now it's just been taken away from us can I ask how you feel about this whole thing um, as grow really we've been a growing business and we were sort of riding the, the wave of this you know this upsurge in tourism that we just started to see and i just feel pretty devastated by the whole thing to be honest um yeah contact communication and cash in almost in the sense of having some resources to keep you going afloat for as long as you need now if we can see it through this year and pick things up uh, again next year then we're great you know we'll, we'll be able to get through it and we'll be able to pick things up but it's whether we can get through and survive the year. Um, I don't know. And if there's any ways in which we can have some support from some of our locals. And it's not just my business. Sure. Go to any any of the small businesses, the independent self-caterers, the hotels. You know, the, the, there's, there's hospitality businesses that are all really struggling here as well. OK, well, let's do our bit for you. Where can they find you on the internet? OK, so we're at um, www.islandescapes.im. We're still processing a lot of the cancellations, but most of our cottages are now available and um, we're going to be doing a discount for locals as well we're going to be doing 20% right. discount for locals through April and May stays and that will be up online in the next day or so are they in places that people can self-isolate if they need to I mean. yeah and we've actually got a, a couple of people who are um, returning to the island in the next couple of days who've actually booked our properties to idea. self-isolate and for those people who wish to self-isolate we are providing a grocery delivery service and things like that so we're looking after our guests who might be self-isolating well, I wish you well and, uh, and other people who are listening who've got the same things, we're, we're happy to do interviews to try and promote businesses and to get through this.